The question is how to keep track of contacts through the invitation process and stay organized. So first, let me differentiate between contacts and the invitation process. To me, contacts is when I'm talking to new people about anything other than opportunity. I'm just making friends, expanding my contacts, expanding my friends list, and things like that. Some of them I may never invite. Some of them I will. Some of them will reach out to me first. Who knows? But that's totally different. And that I don't really keep track of. The invitation process, that I'll keep track of. So I'm inviting people. Whenever somebody expresses an interest, whether they start the conversation with me first or I start it with them and they write me back at that point, I will write their name down on a piece of paper and I will date it. That's my list. So the people that I invite who don't write back, I don't write their names down because I find that would just take way too much time and I'd rather spend more time involved in the profit producing activities. So when I'm making my list, it's just people who express an interest, you know, something yes or maybe or not right now, some kind of an interest. So I know when to follow up and I date it. And I might write down, a, jot down a note of something that I think is important about that contact. Also on Facebook, Facebook has some really cool uh, filtering options in your private message inbox. You can mark messages as read or unread. So if somebody is in play, and what I mean by that, in the process of the invitation, then I will leave that message marked as unread. I will leave all of those messages marked as unread. And a good plan, by the way, is to continuously have 10 people in play or more if you've got time for more. Or, you know, at the minimum, five people in play, but I wouldn't go less than five. But 10 in play is a pretty good number. In play, they're somewhere in the invitation process. They haven't said no yet. They haven't said not right uh, right now yet. Or, you know, they're still in the process of getting the information, making a decision. At least, I like to have at least 10 in play. It's a pretty good game plan. So I will have at least 10 messages then for all those that are in play that are marked as unread. And every day, at least once a day in my Facebook private message inbox, I will sort them out so that it shows only the unread messages. And that way, all the unread will be at the top. That's pretty cool. So you got them all right there. And I've got their name written down on a sheet of paper with a date. And then I never, ever delete the conversations. I must have tens of thousands of private message conversations in my Facebook inbox by now because I've never deleted any. So the information is always archived. It's always there. I can scroll up and see what's been talked about, where, where we are at, and that saves a lot of time. So I spend very little time actually organizing because I'm so efficient at it with those tips that I just gave you in this video. So I hope that helps. And if you have any further questions or need any further clarification on any of this to find your groove and something that works for you, because it is important to be organized without it, a lot of time is wasted. But to be too organized and to be too much of a perfectionist also wastes a lot of time. So there has to be a really good balance. And I feel like I have a really good hang of uh, a balance here because I'm very organized and I still get to spend most of my time in profit producing activities. So there you go. I've got much more social media training on my website, fireyourboss.xyz. Feel free to visit. And if there's people on your team you know that would benefit from what I've shared in this video, feel free to pass it on to them.